Hello again, and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Friday evening. Yes, we made it. Friday is here. The week is done. The work week is done. The weekend is officially started, and it is an exciting time. Except for up here in Canada, we are going through some cold, some dreadful cold spell. It's supposed to get like minus 100 out tonight. No, I'm just kidding. I don't actually know. But it's going to be really, really cold out there. Um, quick update before I get started. Uh, there is a promotion going on from doTERRA this month. Uh, if you're interested in enrolling, if you enroll with 150 PV or more, um, you get free, uh, $50 in free product points back. Um, so if you're interested in free stuff from doTERRA or free money, like we always are, <laughs> definitely drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Um, if you, I am just in the finishing touches of the weight loss course that I'm putting together. If that's something that's interesting to you, um, definitely drop me a comment. I, there is early bird access to get a hold of, and uh, we'll get you rocking and rolling for that. What I wanted to talk a little bit about today is uh, <laughs> the end of the week stuff being happy, uh, how to be happier, right? Tips on, um, you know, effective strategies, if you will, on how to be more happy. Um, that's one of those things that really eludes us a lot of the times is, um, you know, we try and do our best to be happy, to be motivated, to be present in the moment and all sorts of stuff. But, you know, let's get real here. Life happens, stuff happens, and it doesn't always go in our favor. And there, it, it's really easy for us to lose focus, lose track, and get really down on ourselves really easily. Uh, we are our worst critics. So we are more often than not going to be harder on ourselves than anybody else. So that's why we need to really look inside and take it upon ourselves to make ourselves happy, uh, to do things that would make it to put a smile on our faces and really to be, you know, the hero that you need, right? Because nobody's going to come and, uh, and, and push you for you, right? Nobody really cares about your success as much as you do. So, you know, let's, let's get it. <laughs> let's get it. Um, so I, so I got some tips here that help me and, uh, I want to share them with you. Hopefully they help you too. Let's get it started. Tip number one is to get outside. This is a little bit contradictory to what I just said in the sense that it's super cold out here. Uh, but this is um, what I'm talking about in this sense is just nature, right? Getting out in touch with nature, um, taking a break from life, right? From the daily hustle and bustle. Uh, I heard a story that Bill Gates actually goes to his private island um, what, a few months every year, something like that. It's something along those lines. I don't remember the exact story, but a few months a year just to get away, right? And to, to sort of reset, to, um, you know, to clear his thoughts, to clear his mind and to, um, and to really, um, you know, get back into focus, right? Of what matters, right? What's, what's, what's his goals, what, um, what, what is meaningful in life at that point. And, and that's a lesson that we can learn, right? We can, we can get outside in nature. This is something that I, that I really had to learn myself because for me to go out in nature, right? To get, to go up to the cottage, to, uh, to sit on the beach or something like that. To me, that, that sounded like a waste of time. It sounded like a waste of life, a waste of everything. And it's not something that I really enjoy doing. And because I didn't enjoy doing it, it made me even more upset when I had to do it because I, I just didn't care for it at all. And, it wasn't until I started reading up on it that I, I realized that um, getting out in nature and uh, giving yourself that time away from the daily hustle and bustle, um, you know, the, the regular monotony of life, it, it actually is more beneficial for you. It actually uh, allows you to stop and sort of reset and allow and get uh, more momentum in the long run, right? So it, it's, it's kind of those... Um, uh, you know, you take two steps forward and one step back, right? So we're going, so we're doubling our forward steps as opposed to just going back. Um, and, and that's, that's really, that was really huge for me 
because like I said, I, I, did, I felt that as a waste of time, right? A waste of life. Nothing really good came out of it. And what's the point, right? There's so much work to be done. There's so much to be done. I still got to do this and I got to do that. And I got to post on this and I got to, you know, lunch and dinner and food and, and you know, and, and the, the list goes on and on and on. And there's always more to be done. So that's why you want to get out in nature, um, really give yourself a, a, a chance to take a break and really, um, you know, uh, uh, allow your mind to wander and, uh, you, who knows, maybe you could come up with a couple of cool ideas, uh, and then that, and, and that will make you happy, right? When you come up with cool stuff and cool ideas and cool thoughts that just puts a smile on your face, right? Um, ah, uh, tip number two is meditation. This one I don't actually have too much history with or, uh, knowledge about, but I do know that I'm trying this. Uh, so it's, it's something that I wanted to put in here. Uh, meditation. What I'm doing right now is focusing more on my breathing. Uh, I'm just a beginner, so I don't even really know, uh, what I'm doing with this stuff. So I, I I'm just trying, right? I'm trying it out. Uh, Albert Einstein defined the definition of, or in, defined insanity as doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So for me, if I don't like the, if I don't like the results that's going on in my life, I have to do something different or I will keep getting more of what I'm getting, right? What I, I do, what I do, and I get what I get. So if I want something different, I have to do something different. I have to be somebody different, right? I have to think differently. Uh, so that's for me where I'm diving into the meditation, really focusing on my breathing, uh, really trying to calm my mind, right? Cause your mind will race. And it'll go a million miles a minute. And, and it, a lot of times it, you, you can think, um, in terms of worst case scenario and all of the stuff that's going on in your mind is a lot more, uh, is a lot worse than you think, than it actually is. Um, when you think about it, you really tend to, to, to drive home the point that it's bad and it's not going your way and all sorts of that stuff. Uh, so, so that's why a lot of times, uh, journaling your thoughts is great for really working out the problem in your mind. Like I said, in your mind, it's really bad. But once you put it on paper, it kind of it works itself out and you start to see ideas on how to work itself out and you start to really understand what's going on, right? So that's something that, uh, that's sort of a side tip right there. But meditation, um, I downloaded this app. It's called Atom, I, I believe it is, A-T-O-M. Uh, and and that's, that's, what I, that's what I use. It's, it's just a daily reminder. Um, you know, it, uh, you, you set it up as a, what's it called? Um, like a formation habit, something like that. Uh, it, it's a reminder habit. That's what you want to do. So you want to, so for me, every time I wake up in the morning, I make my bed and I'm doing that always. So I make my bed and then I meditate. That's the form or that's the habit that I've, that I'm trying to form right now. Right. And so I, I do the reminder habit of making my bed. And when I make my bed, <clears throat> it's always going to be meditation after that. There's, I'm going to not try and uh, deviate from that plan, differentiate from, you know, the, the process and just keep it going at, at not, I can't always do it at the same time, but I'm going to try and do it in the same process, right? The same, uh, stuff happening every day, right? So that's something that, uh, that is, is new for me. It's a learning experience for me and I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited for, uh, you know, how it changes my life and how it makes my, my mind calm down and how it makes me happier. I, I'm super excited and I invite you to definitely join along for the ride. Number three is exercise. This is kind of one of, this is actually one of those contradictory things because when you exercise, you tend to hurt <laughs> And then you're, you, you're not happy because you're so sore. Oh man. Um, what was the story? The, uh, I, I was talking to one of the guys at work and he said that he did the stairs, right? Cause he was trying to get exercise and doing a little bit different and did, did a few flights of stairs and, you know, towards the end of the week, he was still sore. So if you think that exercise is making him happy, <laughs> I would assume you got another thing coming, but at the same time, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, I mean, the saying is, and it really reigns true, is that no pain, no gain. Um, there's nothing worth while in life that doesn't come with some sort of heartache, some sort of failure, some sort of pain attached to it before you, you know, sort of went over the hump, took the monkey off your back and, and succeeded in that aspect. Um, 
But exercise is a great one in the sense of when you exercise, you tend to look better. And when you tend to look better, you tend to feel better. And when you feel better, you tend to make better choices. So it's, it's kind of one of those like snowball effect things. So when you, when you feel like garbage, you tend to make garbage decisions because you don't really care that much. Um, and you're not really thinking about the consequences or any, anything else in that aspect. You're just thinking about, I'm upset. I need instant gratification. Let's do this. Whatever it is. And that's what I need. Um, so what, so that's where you want to get it in your head that with exercise, you're as, as much as it's going to hurt at the moment, uh, when you keep going and you keep making it consistent and you keep doing it over and over, right? We're not talking about every single day exercising, but at least, you know, three, four times a week, if you can, um, try and fit it into your schedule wherever you can. And it's not so much as going to a, a, a gym and getting a membership and all that stuff. There's little things that you can, uh, that you can take into consideration. You can change in your, in your day to day life. Uh, like I mentioned, buddy taking the stairs, uh, instead, excuse me, instead of the elevator. So that's, that's definitely one tip, one little switch right there that can make a huge difference. Uh, and then uh, again, I just want to reiterate exercise. A lot of the times will make you look better. And when you look better, you tend to feel better. And when you tend to feel better, you tend to make better choices. And then that's the cycle that keeps going, right? So when you're, you're exercising and then, and then when you, when you feel good, you tend to want to exercise again because it makes you look good, makes you feel good, make good choices. And then that's the way it goes all, <laughs> around and around. Side note, uh, just a little bit about exercise. You can't outwork a bad diet. So you want to definitely be making sure that you're fueling your body with the proper nutrition that it needs. Side tip. Uh, my next tip number four is to smile more. <laughs> uh, you know, show the pearly whites, right? Show, show your, your, your white teeth. Uh, another side note for this one, it actually takes more muscles in your, in your face to smile than it does to frown. So you're actually exercising while you're smiling and you're burning calories and working out while you're smiling. So that's, that's really it right there. Um, I, there was a, an article that I read actually, and it was doing some scientific research behind smiling. And if you're ever feeling in a down situation or in, you know, not really fully there, kind of depressed, you know, wanting more in life, so, whatever, you know what I mean. You know the feeling that you're going through. Uh, smile, definitely smile. And this is one of those things where you fake it until you make it. So when you're smiling, even if you faking a smile, like, yay, this is so exciting. If you fake a smile for long enough, you're going to eventually real smile. <laughs> it's just the way it works. And if you don't believe me, try it. And if it didn't work, definitely drop me a comment. And let me know it didn't work because I would love to be told that I'm wrong. Um, but that's that that's actually hugely powerful right there. Uh, that's actually your your mind going to work, right? Your brain going nuts in the sense that wait, this person's not uh, not happy, but they're smiling. And when you're smiling, it sends a, a signal to the brain to make you happy. It's, it's kind of one of those, uh, um, chemical responses, right? Releasing the, the endorphins and the serotonin, all those feel good chemicals in your brain. And that's, that, that, so that's huge right there. That's <laughs> boom, blew my mind right there. You fake it, fake a smile until it makes you actually smile because that's what it's going to work. And also, just to reiterate, you burn more calories by smiling than frowning. So you're welcome for the weight loss tip. <laughs> uh, uh, my next tip, number five, stop comparing yourself to other people. This one was huge for me. I needed this so badly because I definitely have compare-itis. Uh, I am definitely a jealous person. I do not like other people succeeding and me not, it's, it just burns every fiber of my being. I, I like to win. And when I see other people, especially in my age group that, uh, you know, that are, are why, what, you know, what society defines as wildly more successful than I am. Um, it, it, it really gets me right. Sometimes I do have, like I said, compare itis. 
I am very much, um, you know, I just, it, it, in my head about that. And it, it, it does, it irks me and I'm only human, right? I can only do what I can do. And that's the way that I feel. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but that's, that's, it, it, it's definitely something that I am still in the process of learning. And I had to learn more than anything is that you can't compare yourself to other people because as much as you might not have what you want. So I need to stop right there. Um, when you compare it, when you are upset with what you have, you cannot open your, your mind, your heart, your, uh, the possibilities to getting more because until you ha you can get more, you have to be grateful for what you have. And in order to be grateful for what you have, you have to really understand that what you have is not what somebody else has it can only be you you are you and you are nobody else nobody else is you and one of the hugest things that I that I read is actually a two-parter thing here so the first part is um, um, when you compare yourself uh, your worst day is somebody else's dream day right so Especially for us right here in Western society, Western culture, especially in Canada, the United States, North America, right? We're some of the, we're two of the richest countries in the world where opportunity is knocking at every daily basis. And we have a lot more opportunities in our lives than anybody else will ever have in their lives. And that's something to be really grateful for. And that's a lot of what I had to learn, right? I'm still learning is that as much as my life may to me seem not satisfying, uh, not successful, not the best that it could be. It's somebody else's dream life and somebody else dreams of having the problems that I have, right? So, and then my second part to that one is, uh, I can't remember who said it, but there's a saying from an old philosopher that if everybody in the entire world took their problems and put them all into a pile, you would walk home <laughs> with your problems knowing that they are not even, it's, they're, they're so insignificant in the grand scheme of the world problems, right? So that's definitely one huge thing that I can, that I want you to leave with right now. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. You are you and you are in the perfect position of your life right where you're supposed to be. You, you are in the perfect moment of your life right now and you are exactly in the, the moment of time, the position of your life that you are supposed to be in at this current moment. And until you are grateful and thankful for that, I'm sorry to tell you that I'm very, not 100%, but I would say more in the 95, 97% that things are not going to get better for you. Tip number six, celebrate you, baby. I love this one. I love this one because people don't celebrate themselves enough. People don't love themselves enough. Ah, uh, what? Justin Bieber says it. You should go and love yourself. And I, you know what? You should go and love yourself. Heck yeah. Because nobody's going to love you the way that you love you. That sounds really sexual and I hope you don't take it that way. But it is what it is. You know what? Take it whatever way you want it. That's a... Damn, I'm, I'm on a roll right now. Um, but that's it. Nobody celebrates themselves. Nobody rewards themselves, right? Nobody, uh, you know, throws a party for themselves, right? Nobody's drinking by themselves. And if you are, you're, you're kind of, you're called a weirdo. And, you know, according to societal norms, that's not, that's not what you should be doing. You know, nobody should be drinking alone and, and all sorts of that stuff. But, this is one of the things more than anything, because I, I like talking about it in terms of uh, most of the stuff that we do in life is for some sort of reward, right? We go to work for the reward of money. We buy a house for the reward of shelter. We buy a car for the reward of uh, travel, right? We go on vacation for the reward of, you know, stress management, happiness, all, all sorts of stuff like that. We have kids for the reward of seeing, uh, you know, our seedling grow up and be something that we couldn't be. All sorts of things we do in life for a reward. But when it comes to us, when it comes to doing things for ourselves, we don't reward ourselves, right? And then we, we wonder why we don't have motivation to keep going. I tell you one thing. I have motivation to go to work every single day because I know that every single week I'm going to get a paycheck, right? That's the only motivation that I have to go to work. I don't go to work because I like it. 
I don't go to work because all of my friends are there. I don't go to work because me and my boss are homies. I, you know, I, I go to work because I make money. I get money. So therefore, that's my reward for going to work. And that will be the reason that I go to work every single day for however long I need to go to work for. Because that's my reward. I need money, right, to be able to live. So I go to a place where they pay me money for my services, right, my time. So, but when it comes to, right, weight loss, exercising, being happy, uh, you know, even taking out the trash, doing chores, laundry, we never reward ourselves, right? We never, we never give ourselves a pat on the back. We never say, hey, Andrew, good job. You know, that was an awesome day that you had today. You know, you really rocked it out at work or whatever, right? We don't do that. We, and it, it, it's, it's sad kind of, right? I mean, like we should reward ourselves. We should be happy for ourselves. We should love ourselves. And <laughs> sorry to say that we don't actually do that enough. And I think that's really something that is beneficial for us because, I mean, I, I don't like to harp on it, but we go to work for a reward. So if we're going to lose weight, we should reward ourselves, right? If we're going to exercise, we should reward ourselves. If we're going to be lazy on the couch because that's what we feel like doing after a long, hard day of work, we're going to reward ourselves by being lazy and sitting on the couch. Happens. Reward yourself. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself because that gives you motivation to keep going. And then my last tip more than anything is essential oils. I love using essential oils for everything and be, being happy. Um, uh, uh, affecting the emotions is nothing different. This is exactly what essential oils are. are this is where they thrive. Um, an oil like jasmine. I love, I, I like this one. It's actually uh, one of those aphrodisiac oils, but it's great for um, calming the mind, soothing the senses, right? Really allowing you to relax and, and, and take your mind off of whatever stressful um, situations are going on. Another one is cinnamon. I like cinnamon. I, I actually really like the smell of this one. This is, oh, like right away. Oh my goodness. Actually, I, I read something that um, real estate agents love using cinnamon in their uh, in when they're showing a house, and <laughs> I can definitely understand why. And then my last oil that I got here is lime. Lime is great for uh, promoting uplifting feelings, um, helping with uh, uh, minimizing sort of the negative thoughts that you have in your life. This is actually another one of my favorites. I like. I really like this one. I don't tend to like limes too much. I'm not really too much of a fruit person, but lime, so like the lime to me is really spicy, really zesty, and I don't really like that, but this, the oil is, it comes from the rind of the fruit, so it's, uh, it's a lot less, um, you know, boom in your face, <laughs> if you will. There's a word for that. I just don't know what it is. Um, that's all I got for you for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you got some value out of this. Feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. Uh, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can follow along with all of the great information that I, that I provide. Um, if you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message. We'll get you rocking and rolling. doTERRA is giving away free money this month, free products. Definitely drop me a comment so we can get you started on that if that's something that you're interested in. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you really have an awesome rest of your Friday and enjoy your lovely weekend. I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.